Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros podcast. I'm your host, Derek Whitehead. Joining me, as always, it's Owen. It's Owen. We just wanted to take a second and let you know that today's episode of Savage Saturday is sponsored by GhostBed. GhostBed's been a loyal sponsor of the Drinking Bros podcast for over four years. Everybody loves GhostBed. I love GhostBed. I'm the proud owner of two ghost bed mattresses and two pillows and right now if you buy a mattress from ghost bed you get two free pillows and if you go to ghostbed.com slash drinking bros you can save 25 percent. that's ghostbed.com slash drinking bros grab yourself a mattress two free pillows get some good sleep enjoy the show How's that feeling? My first successful clap mm. in maybe like three or so weeks. He's fucking back. Yeah. Um, you're looking good. I, I liked that. That was that was cute. Uh, Owen, before before we did our clap to sync, before we started here, Owen wanted to know how he was framed. And he was like, is my board? He's <laughs> like, everybody's got to know. Dude, that's a lot of that's a lot of buttons. That's a lot of buttons. That's a lot of buttons, a lot of board. So it's super complicated, very in-depth. Yeah. It's taken decades to learn how to do what it is that I do. Nobody else could do this. Right, yeah. Dude, I, I can't fucking do that. I mean, you're, you're joking about See? it, but I can't fuck, Dude, I can't. You know, I, I still, I, um, oh, man, I, I'm, I'm starting to figure out my whoop. Oh, hey. And it's just an app. Right. You know, um, and actually, um, it's been it's been fun. I, I I think I talked about it last week. You right? Talked about I mean, what it does, but but yeah, it, it was it had only been used for like two days. Yeah. So, so you know, like my along? my whoop is up and running now. Mm. I made a mistake yesterday, actually. So here's okay. Shout out to Whoop, good good customer service. Um, I ordered because they so oh, this this Whoop for those of you who don't know, it's like a heart rate monitor. Okay, and it tracks your um, daily strain is what they call it. So right. it like tracks your workouts and things like that. And then it and then it tells you how much you need to sleep to recover. Okay, so it's it's a, like a recovery tool, right? More than anything, you know, it does like caloric burn too. So it tells you like yeah, but I they, 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 that can't be. I mean, so like my calories today are twelve five eight, but I don't trust that. So okay. so here's here's one thing: like the whoop doesn't know I'm an amputee. Oh, so yeah. what what? <clears throat> say walking takes you a hundred percent energy, right? Because I'm an amputee, it takes me a hundred and thirty to a hundred and fifty percent energy. Good point. Everything is everything is like legit harder, right? As an amputee, and it doesn't know that doesn't. But so I'm not in it for that. I'm just here to kind of like have fun looking around and stuff like that, and um. But uh, here's a here's a funny thing, dude. So my whoop is up online, and I'm I haven't I don't I haven't changed anything. I'm just living my life, and I'm and I'm co- constantly hitting like in the ninety percent recovery range, which is really good. That's really good. Except today, today's Wednesday. We're recording here on Wednesday. Yep. Uh, I woke up this morning, fifty six percent recovery, strained recovery ratio. But here's something fucking awesome, dude. So you can learn shit without technology. What have I done for like the last year and a half on Wednesdays? One workout, very easy. Because I'm always dragging ass on Wednesday. Okay. So I used to train hard as fuck throughout the week. Right. Two sessions a day, Monday through Friday. And I would just progressively get worse and worse and worse. By Friday, it was just about surviving. It right. wasn't about doing well. It was about surviving, you know? And I realized, I was like, that can't be good for performance and getting better if i'm if i'm only just getting through my workout right uh, it's like i'm just breaking my body down not not building it up you know where was so, your rest day then no no, no rest day no rest day like Fucking like seven sun, days sunday a week. sunday maybe okay. but i yeah i just i i mean I, i've always loved i love spending my time training right you know That's um you yeah but uh i'm getting older Yep. It's just like, you know, fucking time. It's a, it's a thing. You have to, I you know, I care. <laughs> I have to spend more time and energy, mental energy now, thinking about recovery than I do training. I you spend know, a lot of time about recovery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I spend most of my time thinking about recovery. <laughs> yeah. It's a real thing. So but it's cool. It's cool to see it in numbers, like 56% recovery. It's like, oh, that's cool. All good. Because I'm only training once today. Right. And it's, and like, I'll go. I mean, so here's, here's, this was my easy workout day. I did back day. Uh-huh. I started with back day, um, did all my shit. I lift heavy, but that's easy, you know, and that's fun. And then my conditioning workout today was four time, 50 calorie row, 
75 wall balls, uh, 20, 20 pound wall balls, and then a 50 cal row. So that's pretty tough. Mm-hmm. But I was done by eight o'clock this morning, you know? So, and then I, now I'm done for the day. Now it's just about food and water. So it's like, it's cool that I kind of figured that out just based, just by listening to my body, just right. by paying attention to how I feel and um, getting over myself a little bit, you know? Or because we, we, as like, especially dudes, Hold on, I'm going to take a sip of my... What's that concoction? Mm. There's like powder floating we'll in it. We'll talk about that after. I, I'm going to lose track here, so I'm going to... Um, it's it's difficult, I think, especially for dudes. Dudes just want to go hard all the time, and especially coming out of the Army, mm-hmm. like being brainwashed in the Army. It's like 100% all the time. But, you know, um, you're going to... That's just... It's just not a good. You can. I think you can do that in your twenties quite a lot, but um, it's more sustainable in your twenties. Yeah, but you know, you just you just can't go. You just can't do that, and it's not. Um, it's not the best. It's not good it's not, for it's your forties. Be- it's to not do the, that. In well, your 20s. I mean, you can you can still go hard as a motherfucker. It's just like sometimes the best thing you can do is take a step back and let your body catch up. But it's a super hard thing for dudes to learn, right? You know, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it's funny. Um, people will ask me, or like, people get a little thrown off when they have a day where they don't work out, and they feel like they're accomplishing nothing. But um, your 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 rest days from the gym are your brain training days. That's when you train patients. That's when you read a book. That's when you make some plans, things like that. Yeah. There's, there's a, you know, it's, it, it's kind of funny, but yeah. So my, my whoop track him asleep and, and, and look at this graph here. Like my, well, where is it? It's like my sleep time in bed. Look at that consistency. Nice. I'm going to call, I'm going to do, and, and, and we've talked about it on the podcast before, like especially like managing depression and mental mm-hmm. health and things like that, how important sleep is. I call this, I'm going to call this like sleep discipline. looks like you were kind of lazy on one day and spent a hey, Saturday night. Hey, uh-huh. that, that was a Sunday Sunday. Uh, okay. You know, and, and we didn't have the, my mom watched the boys <laughs> and Stacy and I went out to red rock uh-huh. hotel and casino. Right. And, and, uh, and you slept a whole had, lot, had a few drinks. Yeah. But, um, that's that. So it's rare for me to, I, I can't stay in bed for seven hours. No, I can't either. But like once a month, I can sleep 10 hours, you I know. I miss being able to do that. Yeah, but um, no, so like, you know, I, I, I don't, I set an alarm for six o'clock every morning, but it's rare that I stay in bed that long. I'm usually up at five, but I really like how... um. Except for that one day. But Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, like I go to the bed at the, do you go to the bed at the same time every night? Do you have a routine? Do you yeah. have... Yeah. I usually I put the kids down and then I stay up and I'll watch like a Vikings episode, maybe two, and then I go to bed right after mm-hmm. that. Yeah. I remember back in the day when I was um always all stressed out and just mentally unstable and things like that. I wasn't going to bed. Yeah. You You're know, staying up just late. staying up, you yep. know. And uh, I'll do it. And 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 so here's the thing, I've trained myself to go to sleep. Yeah. And it's like what, what, at eight o'clock. Now I'm gearing up towards being able to fall asleep. I have to do things to let myself calm down. I yep. take it seriously. Mm-hmm. It's not like a it's not like a passive thing, you know, because I could just as easily be that person that's up twelve o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, still getting up at six and yeah. just feeling run down and stressed out and <laughs> fucking awful. So it's funny when I, you know, talk to people about sleep and people love pushing back on everything. I'm a night owl. Everybody's a fucking night owl, okay? <laughs> Every motherfucker is a fucking night owl. It's called sleep discipline. Go your ass to bed. The best thing you can do is go to sleep. Fucking sleep. Go to sleep. At least six hours. It's not that. But but Derek, I'm a night owl. I'm not a morning person. I like getting up early. I think everybody should get up early. I hate people who fucking sleep till 10 o'clock. Yeah. I mean, like, on. A, so here's, I slept, yeah, here's my late sleeping, 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that's my that's as that's as long as I can go. That's your fuck the world. I'm that's, staying that's in bed. As, that, Nine I, o'clock. And, and that happens what once a month, once every two months or something like that. After a night of drinking, you know, um, I I've always hated people that sleep till like eleven. I used to sleep till eleven. I mean, like I on fuck, the weekends. dude, there was a I had a friend in the army. His name was um, Chris Walsh. We were really good friends, 
and he would run with me and he was he was cool but on the weekends I would literally get mad at him and like talk shit and a not joking way because it fucking made me angry that he would stay in bed that long. I was offended, dude. I was offended. I was pissed off. A you're, person, I was legit, dude. I was your like, sleep habits yeah, hurt my feelings. Yeah, and like now I wouldn't like shit on someone, or I probably would. Yeah, I'm, you I'm, would. Yeah, but I, but it like no, it's seriously. Quick to shit it on. makes me. I have a tr- an honest emotional reaction to people who stay in bed <laughs> until ten or eleven. That's o'clock. funny. I like I how personally vested you are. Fucking in- hate it, dude. It makes me <laughs> angry. I it I like. You know? Why do you sleep so much? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Tired. That was one of the hard things. Um, um, harder the harder things with the boys. Um, last year and stuff is like <laughs> sometimes you have to just you, or like I like to get up and go. Right, kids but, ruin that. You know, yeah, I couldn't get up and go until seven, so I was like, kind of forcing myself to stay asleep until six. And I just, I like to get up about five, somewhere between four forty-five and five. So you'd stay in bed to be quiet, so they would not wake up. Yeah, dude, yep. it's fucking yep. yeah. But now, you know, like Stacy lets me take off now. She handles it until um the uh uh the childcare shows up. And so it's funny, like these days, the last few weeks I've been able to get up or maybe like a month now, She, I, I get up and I take off, but I uh, super, I park my car in the street because our driveway yeah, so is right have- by the boys room yep. and I fucking no shit walk around my house with a red headlamp. I don't turn on any lights. I have my, <laughs> I have my bag packed in the morning. Yeah, and it's just, and I, I kind of laugh at myself. I'm like, I'm in my own fucking house. It's mine. And this I'm is what I'm fucking, I'll be like, I'm in my own, like, why isn't everybody else up? Let's go fucking. The day has started, family. Yeah, you know. But I uh, feel like people start out like that when they have kids, and then and then they quickly like be like, okay, that wasn't a good plan. We'll let these guys sleep. Yeah, yeah. Our boys sleep till seven or so now, which is yep. nice. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, sleep, sleep discipline. We've talked about the importance of sleep here. Um, on the show a few times. And so it's, it's just fun to see. I, I'm not changing anything on this. No, group. it's got it's a lot of screens. See. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm There's saying. There's like a man. lot of like, data that. there. I don't even you know what that means. Right. I know it's fancy takes some fucking learning. Yeah, but it's, it's cool. What are the colors um, on the graphs? I don't fucking, I mean, green must be good. I would think we got, we got red is pretty low. That's gotta yep. be bad. That's my, uh, recovery is returned to baseline. Your body is returned to its normal level of recovery and its average capacity for strain. So that's the thing. It's like only, I've been wearing the whoop now for like 10 days, but only the last two days have I actually been training again. So I was, I was like recovering 90 plus percent, but I, it, <laughs> I knew I was like, I'm not even going yet. These aren't real numbers. I'm not even going yet. Yeah. So uh, that's funny. Um, yeah, I like it. And uh, so he, they have good customer service. I, I ordered some new bands, Yeah. you know, um, for wristbands. And then they have like a bicep band. Um, you, so you wear that I, while you sleep. Yeah. How long does the battery last on it? Five days. Oh, sweet. and then and then to charge it, you just put a thing on top of okay. it here. It's a little bulky. Yeah, yeah. But it charges pretty quick, and then it lasts about five days. So actually, I just put my whoop and my leg on the same charging schedule because my leg lasts five days. Oh, right know? on. <laughs> so it's like you know, yeah, my, charge yeah. my leg just and my watch. Be, just to be safe, I charge them Sundays and Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, today's a charging day. Today. Yeah. <laughs> it's also trash day. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, so I ordered these new bands. I typed my fucking address in wrong, and I didn't. I just I mistyped the last number on my zip code. Did it make like, it here or Fuck. no? Well, I don't. So I don't know. So I shot them an email, and I said, "Hey, I screwed up. Is there any chance we can catch this in time?" They didn't respond to the email. I got a. <laughs> Coincidentally, we get this email all the time for DerekWida.com. Really? Like, hey, I fucked up my address. You'd be surprised how many emails yeah. me and your sister answer. Really? Of, I fucked up my address. Yeah. See, I don't do it often, but it happens like, all I mean, the time. Yeah, I suppose when we like high volume, if there's one in a <laughs> one in one in every five hundred, you're gonna right? get you quite a um yeah, so um they didn't see it in time. They shipped the package. But I hit them up on Instagram and they responded to me there and they're gonna send me they're gonna they're, they're gonna reship what I ordered and not charge me extra. So it's possible that I'll get double the stuff what? for the price of one. Because I don't know if that package is going to... The post office could maybe catch that problem. You're, of course, going to send the free one, the extra one back. Because no, you're going to feel no, so guilty that. for... No, I offered to pay. Yeah? I offered to pay. 
And then, but they're like, no, all good. I was like, cool, you know. So that's good customer service. That's, that's how awesome we. That's how service. we do stuff. It is. That's how we do stuff. Yep. If like you buy a shirt from us and you get the wrong, if you buy a shirt off DerekWhite.com and you get the wrong size, we don't need it back. Nope. We'll just send you a new one. Right. And you can give the other wrong size to a friend or family member. We don't care. We don't make a headband out yeah. of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jerk off onto it and <laughs> post it on whatever. the internet. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. We just don't <laughs> want it back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah um but uh dude what i'm drinking here is uh i was actually gonna I, I just like this shit what is it it's like electrolytes it's called well it's called discipline it's from jocko <laughs> i'm just drinking jocko juice here man <laughs> you know this is fucking juice just just uh God, just the jocko juice. it's the jocko juice it's discipline it's um it's like it's like pre-workout without caffeine okay so it's one of those like mental cognitive yeah drinks you know it like just really gets you in the zone what does that mean what's that because everyone talks about it gives you just like clarity and whatever what is that like what does it mean it's like dude it's like it's like pre-workout for your brain but you know like caff like caffeine yeah. will hype up your heart rate and right. stuff like that and That's maybe like, like a little it. bit hard to focus yep. this um and products like this um yeah man it it it, it like heightens your ability to, to think or okay. your your desire to spend time thinking or doing stuff, but it doesn't increase your heart rate. It doesn't give you jitters or something like yeah. that. Like it's it's just I, yeah, Stim I like free. it. Yeah, no stimulants, no stims in this one. But and I just dude, I fucking just hit him up. Uh, there's uh, uh one of the guys that works with Jocko, and they were in the military together. JP Dinell. Okay. Um, he they ha- so this is Jocko Discipline, but there's also Discipline Go. Okay. And that has some caffeine in it, but it's like 125 milligrams, like. Which is know, what? Like a cup, a cup of coffee? Something like that. Two cups you know? of coffee? Yeah, just, just, just enough or something like that. And so, but they have them in ready to drink cans, okay. you know? So it's like an energy mental focus type drink yep. thing. And, uh, uh, JP came out with a signature flavor and it's sour apple. And I don't even know if I'm a sour apple guy, dude, but I fucking, I like JP so much. And I listened to his recent podcast with Jocko. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm going to fucking support this motherfucker. So I right. bought some, uh, uh, discipline go sour apple. And I sent him a video on it and I sent JP a video and I was like, you're such a fucking bitch, dude. I was like, I don't even know if I like sour apple. I'm not really a sour apple guy, but I fucking like you so much that I just want to drink this shit. I, just I was like, you influence it. the fuck out of me, you know? So yeah, I like, uh, you know, I don't cheat on first form much. And the only, it's just a couple of these, uh, origin labs products that and I seem to specifically enjoy. Specifically sour and apple. Right. Well, this one, this one isn't, uh, I don't have the sour apple. It's called the sour apple sniper JP's flavor. This is just the, uh, and, uh, you know, to add first form has, um, they have a product called master brain AM and PM. So it's a couple, like there's master brain AM and it's like, it's a cognitive enhancer. I guess you'd call it the word, but it, it does have a little caffeine in it. The AM one. And then the PM one, is 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 good for sleep stuff and cognitive function and things yeah. like that. But that's a, I mean, that's a good product. The, the, those are pills. I always, I just like drinking things. Yeah, you know, I take my vitamins, but like I take the first form micro factor. But outside of that, I just try to drink stuff. You know, helps you get more water in your body. Yeah, and I just, you know, so I just, you know, but um, yeah, um, dude, I like this shit. This is what I drank uh, before my competition. Just like get you in the fucking zone. Oh, you didn't do. Didn't you say on like the last year's one, like you did drink stuff that had stimulants in it and mm-hmm. it was too much? Yeah. So I had, so like 90 minutes before, I had Project One and that yeah. had stimulants. But like leading up to the event, I just fucking two scoops of Jocko, Origin Labs, Discipline. This get time. me in the zone. You did that. Yeah. What'd you mm-hmm. do last time? Well, the first time I did, um, the first time I did Rush Club, I did like motherfucking like 600 milligrams of caffeine. I took a bunch of pump stuff because <laughs> I wanted to look good when I was out there. Yeah. I was more concerned. So it, like the first time I did the one-on-one competition, it was called Rush Club. I was more concerned with how I looked <laughs> than how I performed. I really was. I was just like super. And that's just like an insecurity thing, man. It's like thing, a bikini combat. Com- well, dude, it's like I've always like, you know, I have that ugly duckling syndrome, uh-huh. you know. So it's always about, uh, always about 
always was about image for me and stuff right. like that. Now, like this time, I like so my you know my haircut was on point, my beard and just, like shaved chest and belly and all that good. stuff. You know, and guess what? I fucking lost. <laughs> but you, you know what? You know what? Great. Right. But so this time, so this last <laughs> now this time, didn't give a fuck. Everything I wore was practical. Right. You know, everything I wore was functional. I fucking, I cut, I, I shaved my head basically and cut my beard off just because I, like, I didn't want anything messing. Right. I didn't want any, didn't want to get hot. You know, I just was like, I don't give a fuck what I look like because you know what looks good? Winning. Winning. Looks you know, you good. know what looks really fucking good? <laughs> it you looks know? fucking great on you. Winning. This trophy around my waist looks amazing. Yeah. I was actually, I, I, I was actually thinking about that this morning because, um, I guess we're just going to like rant about different shit I that think comes so. to mind. But I got I'm, a couple I'm, questions I'm, lined up later. We'll, okay, we'll get to some. We need to slap her at some point. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me, well, let me fucking just, I'm just, I'm, a, I was thinking about that today. Like, some, I look at, I look at, uh, so I go to LVAC and it's like a yep. Globo gym. Yep. And I, and I, and I look, <laughs> yeah, dude. And there's like, so there's, I just look at the people sometimes. Uh-huh. It's like the, like the, the, I love people the, watching. the guys and girls in the 20 to 25 age range you know and i'm just like what the fuck are you wearing what the fuck are you fucking wearing dude what the fuck i want to know who is like the queen fit chick out there that is influencing all these girls on what they fucking wear and what they do in the gym i think there's it's, a i think there's fuck. a i think there's a council of them God, i know have, yeah like, meetings dude, these gym they, shark these gym shark clothes on the females have got to fucking stop it's got to fucking stop. It's like... Whoa, 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 whoa. What don't you like about gym sharks? D- d- dude. <laughs> no, I fucking hate it. I honestly fucking hate it. Because, like, for... <laughs> dude, like, so, it, like... and man, I mean, guys who wear gym shark, fuck. Is there, they got pussies. I like, didn't know if there was... I didn't know there was guy gym shark stuff. No, there's not. Okay. <laughs> it's all... It's all... <laughs> gym shark only makes women's clothes. Okay. Okay? But some dudes choose to wear... Oh. They, maybe they didn't do laundry day, so they just pick up their girlfriend's T-shirt and take it to the gym, you know? But um, Hey, this dude, looks like, great. But, yeah, so they have, the, like, the leggings. And, I, dude, I just, it makes me fucking angry, dude, because, like, I look at some of these, like, these girls in the leggings and then the right shirts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. These fucking sh- pants do so much fucking work for, it's just, like, that is... It's a lie. It's a fucking lie. Like it's a you, beautiful you, lie. you're not, you're not shaped like. No, it's not. It's because you know what, you know what, you know what's great effort, <laughs> and like trying yeah. hard and doing good. You know what's, you know what's awesome is like actually having that figure. Because you know what that figure takes hard work. Right. But these girls, they just they buy like the fucking the you know those those pants got away like twenty pounds because of the amount of support. And Are they like spanks? Like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. But anyway, like they just come in there with their gym shark and they're fucking. They're it's either Vans or Converse, you know. And then they grab their five pound fucking dumbbells and they do sixty variations of a lunge in the same position. I know shit. I saw a fucking girl yesterday. <laughs> You know how you got like boxes? Yes. Like so she was standing, there was a there was an eighteen inch box next to her okay. on her right side. So yep. she's facing forward. To her right is an eighteen inch box. She put her fucking right leg up on the box and squatted a little bit with her left leg. And I'm just and I was just like, Who is putting this out there? It's like the council. What the fuck? Yeah, the council. The, the council is doing council. It. I swear to fuck, dude. This isn't taken on Instagram. If you're listening to this, please don't take it. I've for like five years, I wanted to make a, an account where it's just like the whole thing is I'm in character and it's at typical chick underscore fit, <laughs> you know, Stacy doesn't like, but I just, I'm just like, who is misleading? Who is steering? Who is, who's telling all these? So like, so, you know, I was this, this girl today, there's so many of them. They're like 96 pounds. And they're wearing all their gym shark and yep. they're doing their lottie dot. They're fucking like practicing curtsying for the queen. How early do you think they're waking up? I just want to throw some gas on this fire. Do you think those girls are sleeping in late too? Is there, <laughs> this is high. Well, they, they're, they're, they're there. They're there at six in the morning. So, oh, he, so, so they might be so, waking up. But here's the thing, man. It's like, I don't, there, there's such minimal effort in the gym. I think about like, man, they must eat like a thousand calories a day to stay that size. Like what a fucking miserable existence. It's like, you can eat more. And, and if you work more, cause like, you know what? I never see them do like lift heavy weights. That's what builds the muscle. That's what, I mean, there's a few there for sure, right. you know, but it's just like, I was, you know, you got your bell curve, you know, 
And on the left, on the, you know, on the left side, you got the people who don't even try. And then you got all the people in the middle. And then over here on the right are the people who know it, like lift and know what they're doing. And, and, and yeah, your, your experiment or your observations coming from the Petri dish of LVAC. But this is, because we've, but look on the internet. I dude, I go, I look at like fit chick shit on the internet. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I it's just like, it makes, I'm just like, Yo, dude, I look at but, fit chick yeah, shit. But these on the girls, internet. but they're out there crushing it. It's a huge fucking misleading women is like a $4 billion a year industry. It is. <laughs> you know? It is. Gymshark's a billion dollar company. They're making tons of money. Yeah. Selling those beautiful pants. No, oh, fuck those pants. I just, no, oh, <laughs> I hate it, dude. I hate it because it's, it's like I uh, there's um there's cool brands out there. It's it's just all these. It's just the yahoos. Here's why I like it's them. the it's the new age yahoos. Here's why I like them. You I, like them because you're not in this fucking community. True. Absolutely. You know, they, I these also are the, these are the turds of our community. I come from a generation because I'm 42, where the the girls in I'd say when I was in my 20s, they wore stuff like cross colors and baggy ass dude pants. And if I had to choose between women walking around dressed like they were back in the '90s versus today, I take the Gymshark pants. All no, day I don't. Long. I don't do that. But I. But I hate suits. So to be fair, I hate suits. I like, like Jinko jeans. Do you remember Jinko jeans? Dude, I had Jinkos and Did Airwalks you? and Alienware T-shirts. All the girls wore that shit. Yeah. I, yeah, I was. They just wore. I was sexually active in the late '90s. <laughs> you know, like I've been. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh yeah but no it bothers me because it's a lie it's the whole fucking sh the whole fucking get up is a fucking lie and you know because th that's that's they min they make you look curvy mm -hmm. and then they got fake boobs fake eyelashes fucking fake lips fucking it's just a lot. And so here, then like, and pe I've been, you know, people have gotten mad at me for like, I hate suits. I think, I think, I think, uh, I hate when I'm forced to wear a suit for a function. You hate because wearing suits. No, dude, but here, like, no, it's, de it's, it's more than people are like, oh, Derek's just an annoying cunt. And like, yeah, that's true. But hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain my dude, cunting. When I'm forced to wear a suit, I'll be in a room of people in suits. Uh -huh. and there's a bunch of fucking fat people in a suit. That how is that how is this you know like people who don't care, people who don't try hard, people who don't work hard on their, that's not that's not you know any it's just it's just putting a but suits you know, and fitness aren't you can't compare suits and fitness. Fitness is just existence. Fitness mm -hmm. is fitness is I mean you know I I compete, it's my thing. But if I didn't, I would always want to be healthy and fit. It shows a level of discipline. It shows a level of self-respect, uh, self-control. These are things that look good. These are things that deserve respect. What you wear is fucking what you wear, you know, like mm -hmm. this. So this is, it's, I get angry with the lie. So if I'm being too harsh to women in Gymshark, <laughs> this is like, it's fair. I, I hate, I hate when I have to wear suits too, because <laughs> that doesn't make, that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. A lie. I fucking hate lies. I fucking oh, hate lies. Derek. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, you know, and I just, I don't know, Gymshark just popped up. Um, Stacy really likes all the, uh, First Form has some really cool um, female fitness clothes and stuff. And I like some of their color schemes. They got like some black and gold shit that yeah. I really fucking like. Um, speaking about, um, actually, I wanted to talk about one thing. I wanted are to do a. Are you sweating? You yeah, get, you're getting a little I'm getting heated. angry. You're getting angry yeah. over well, there. Well, it's also hot in here. <laughs> Stacy's got the thermostat set to 72. What the fuck? Why? It's she, 105 degrees outside. She doesn't understand compromise, you know? Man. 74 is too hot for her. So her comfort is 72, but my comfort is 66. If I was living alone, oh, yeah. I would be 66 degrees. So what's in the middle of that? I don't know. I 69. Can't do yeah, you know, there you well, go. It's a difference of six, so half of six is three. <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sixty nine. But you know, if I if I turn it to seventy, it's like two seconds after I walk away, Stacy will be like, "Why is it so cold in here?" Like you can't even feel the fucking change yet. Well, yeah. do you you get you you yell and say who touched the thermostat? Right, like that's your right as a dad to yell at anyone who touches the thermostat. That's I your shit, dude. I don't, you I, own the fucking thermostat no, now, dude. No, because you got boys. she gets no. Nope. Cause um, 
Yeah. I'm not going to tell you how to run your house. Dude, but, it's fucking uh, hot as shit in here. Yeah, it's fucking. And so actually the Golden Knights lost. I don't know if I don't you care follow. about hockey. Nope. Yeah, we actually, do. Actually, I like hockey. So but the, the Knights were doing pretty poorly against the Dallas Stars. And it was um, game five. Knights were down in the series three to one. Stacy told me I needed to wear my jersey for good luck. I was like, you're fucking out of your mind. It is 72 degrees in this house. I am not putting on a fucking jersey. I mean, you like, want? do you want your team to lose? <laughs> <right>? yeah, <laughs> Fuck, well. come on, Derek. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know. It does make me... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe so I they start. still lost? Did you put it on? No, I wore a t-shirt, and they still lost. And so, they lost. Yeah, because so now, you didn't put the jersey on, yeah, obviously. So now today's, today's one of those weird days. Like, there's no hockey or no football on TV. So I'm just like, fuck, what am I going to do? Like, spend time with my family? Jesus. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> um, we, I was, I was a dude. Here's a, I wanted to do, a, um, I've been meaning to talk about this, like on the internet, but I just don't know. I don't talk about supplements and products. You've mentioned this often. one once. Yeah. But okay. So on, on the show here, did uh, I talk about, I think on one of the very early episodes, you did talk about this. Really? But you didn't so, know enough about it. Yeah. Okay. So what I, I'm holding in my hand right here, for those of you who can't see is collagen. First forms collagen. Now, this is, you know, I, I've been, so I've been taking this for about two months now. Okay. And on the label, it says, well, here, here's the backstory. Okay. I've been, I've been taking supplements for 17 years, yep. you know, and I've watched things come and go. The trends. Every, every year there's a thing, mm-hmm. you know, everybody was fucking drinking apple cider vinegar for a while. Everybody was doing just, you know, or like raspberry ketones for a yes. while. It's just all this dumb shit. It's this fucking this dumb new stuff. Um, and, and like within the last year and a half, collagen has just like flooded the shelves at like grocery stores. Mm-hmm. And like we shop at Sprouts here. Yep. And it's just like collagen, 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 collagen. I'm like, what the fuck is collagen? I don't know what the fuck collagen is. And, and, it, and it annoyed me because it seemed like the only people taking collagen and they were marketing after females because motherfucking women these days are just terrified of looking their age. Right. It's like the worst thing that could ever happen in their life is that they look their age. It's the best thing. <laughs> Actually, yeah. it's I do the it's best so thing. right, dude. I am <laughs> I am I am team just fucking I'm team B forty. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm I'm team just like <laughs> stop Yes, and like too much I'm not a too much makeup guy. I'm not a fake things You're guy. anti gym shark i'm anti gym shark you don't like, go just with like, the give me give me a give me a real person give me a plain jane who wakes up early you know? right yeah who gets the fuck out of bed who you doesn't know? sleep in stacy's on that like border range Ooh. like she'll like six thirty seven it's like and then like, she oh she just came in just made at it the, don't the fuck cutoff. with the thermostat yeah, next yeah, yeah so it was like it was just like collagen it seemed like the only people who were buying it was like women who wanted to look fucking 12 years old for the rest of their life because it's like healthier skin. So it says right here, healthier skin, hair, and nails. Um, enhanced youthfulness. Here's the th- I don't want to look young. It says that on there? Yeah, enhanced youth youthfulness. But it is. But so um, so I thought it was fucking dumb. And I was annoyed. And, and, and the reason people were taking it annoyed me the most. Is like just to look young the forever. Lie. It's like, let's grow old. Because like, you know what? You know, like who I, I don't. I don't understand why people want to look like they're 20 years old. Because you know how fucking dumb we were oh, so when we were stupid, 20? Dude. We were pathetic. So stupid. You know what's cool? Like, be, you know, experience. You know? It's, <laughs> you know, you got some miles. When you get some miles, you get That's some it. experience. And then when if you carry yourself well, people will be like, that motherfucker's got some fucking experience. I'm not going to fuck with that person. I want to listen to what he has to yeah, say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Men and women both. So anyways, but... uh. First form came out with collagen. I was like, you got to be fucking shitting me. And I read, um, I read what they talked about and I was surprised because it said that it'll help your, um, your bones, joints and tendons. And oh, my, tendons make sense. My Achilles heel mm-hmm. over the years has been tendonitis, like bicep tendonitis. I don't know. Do in like 2014, I was training and I did American Ninja Warrior 
And so I was doing That's like right. American. I know I forget that, you know, I like, you did yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, I did it in Ranger panties and a PT belt. Didn't you say you did it like right before the cameras turned on too? So they didn't, there's, it's not like recorded. No, they record it. They it just, is. they just didn't put me on TV. They put, okay. Yeah. I didn't make the TV. Cut. Why you would not put a one legged dude doing American Ninja Warrior on the fucking yeah. TV is beyond me. I fell on the second obstacle still, but, um, they play people who fall on the second yeah. obstacle. I think, you know, like they're what, like NBC or something like that. Yeah. Uh, people, they're careful. They also didn't show Dana Lynn Bailey. Um, oh, I didn't so, know she was on it. Yeah, so she did it that same year, I think, and they didn't put her on TV, which she, that surprises me more than me. Like, I could see why they would kind of look into me a little bit because it's like, so a good-hearted person watches American Ninja Warrior, and then American Ninja Warrior sends them to my Facebook page, and I'm out there saying, like, you know, I was like, keep those pussy lips tight. Yeah, and somebody's grab, I was like, what? <laughs> you know, like she's never heard the words <laughs> pussy lips before, you know? So, like, I can see why they wouldn't want to uh, send their traffic my way because they're trying to maintain their image, you know? He actually had babies with a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, shit, fuck, yeah. <laughs> and I was doing some shit back then but also but also back then I, that, that year was like 2014 2015 okay and uh i was tired of it man or i was tired of the interview process so it all goes the fucking same you know so like they came so we thought we were making tv for sure because they they don't do this for everybody but they sent a camera crew oh yeah to come for the backstory pieces yeah, yeah all the b-roll and stuff and then i had to show up early to do content there and stuff like that and but man those those like news media and tv shows they only want the fucking sob sappy yeah, feel I, bad for me shit so, and so it sucks that. and you have to be careful because you can do a 60 minute interview <clears throat> and 58 seconds or 58 minutes oh, yeah. will be super positive yep. laughing and joking and they only show the two minutes of where you're talking about your toughest time. Right. And it's just, and, it, and they, and it's like the sad, sappy music and yep. blah, blah, blah. I fucking hated it, dude. I'd been, I had done enough news interviews and things like that at that point where I caught on and I was like, I'm tired of this shit. Like yeah. this isn't, I'm not this sad, sappy yep. fucking person. Right. And so I was having a little bit of fun with that interview and they did not appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> they failed yeah. to see the and, I was, and then I was just like man fuck you guys like cause this is you know all they want to do is paint that sad picture 20, 2014 yeah. did you have face tats then no no mm -hmm. okay no and you know like and but that's what gets the you know I, I, I don't even know who enjoys watching that because I can see them do it like you know if we're in a hotel in American Ninja War we don't watch t that, like, that, like TV like that too right. much and I catch it sometimes and it's always Boo, but like chopped. So I, I like chopped. I, I haven't watched, you know, the, the, the cooking car? show. Oh, so they'll do backstories and it's, and it's like boo hoo, wah, wah, cry baby yeah. shit. And that must be good for their ratings. There's it's a, gotta be. there's a reason they, they do, do that. It. Yeah. All of them do it. And, and it's like, who the fuck is enjoying this? Who right. Do, like, do people just, I don't understand it. I hated it. And so anyways, I, I didn't make uh, TV, but anyway, so I was training for that. And um, that's when I first started getting bicep tendonitis so bad. I didn't know what it was. Like, I would finish training. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, like, swinging around on things and stuff like that. And I would sit in my car for, like, 30 minutes because I couldn't drive home. I was in such pain. So fucking bad, dude. And I wasn't overweight. Oh, what? I just, we're doing a sob story. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, um, but it's like, dude, tend to not, like, yeah, but it's, and there I was, yeah, was in the fetal crying. position well, like, no, in the car. I, I was, I was, dude, I didn't miss a motherfucking day. <laughs> all right. I didn't, I showed up every fucking day. Like yep. sometimes for that training, actually like no, sh I would fucking, um, it was at lifetime fitness in white bear Lake. So I would show up early, get a 30 minute massage downstairs and then go do my training. Nice. But like, so, you know, it is what it is. But so ever since then it's like bicep tendonitis yep. has been an issue. Yep. And um, I don't change my diet. I, I have a fairly good diet and things That's like rigid. that. Anyways, I read collagen is good for your soft tissue health, like tendons, joints, tendons, joints, bones. I mean, bones, bones isn't exactly soft tissue, but it it helps with soft tissue things. It helps with. Are you looking it up? I'm trying. I'm trying to see where where collagen naturally occurs. So, dude, it takes they take it from like fucking parts of animals. It's like right. chicken, cows. There's actually the FDA won't let them take it from some pieces 
of animals. I was reading about it last night on medical journals. You're getting ahead of me here, Owen. Oh, sorry. So just my curiosity. So I was just when I when I read it's good for your tendon health. That got me curious. And so I asked my friend at First Form, who I trust, and he'll just give me a no shit. This is a scientist? Uh, well, it's Brian Teach. Yeah. You know, he's, yeah. Basically a scientist. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, man, I've only hated collagen and collagen users for the last year and a half, but is it true that it helps with, like, tendons and joints? And he's like, yes. And I was like, give me a no shit. Is this something I should add to my regimen and and he said yes he's like he's like he's like think about it like this what 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 branch chain amino acids do for your muscles right collagen does for soft tissues and so it's like it's the building blocks of soft tissue yeah. thing. so yeah, yeah. um and he's he, he said the one thing is collagen doesn't work if you're getting an inadequate amount of protein i don't know fucking why and i didn't bother looking into it okay he just said make sure you're getting enough protein because it's something you you add on top like they work together or, well it's and it was like it's like you got to get your basics first right and then you can start doing better things Interesting. you know it's like you you advance to that level yep. so you know so actually like women pumping collagen women are really really bad i mean like large not all but most right. or We're many general many terms. very bad at getting enough protein in and so if that's true, if they're pumping collagen, hoping to look 14 years old again, they're, they're and they're not, not getting enough protein, uh, you know, but actually, so, you know, so it's, um, it's a good for funny uh, one scoop of collagen. This is like, so I take this to help with my tendons yep. and things like that. And honestly, I trained hard as fuck for that competition and I didn't have arm issues. And that's what, what gives me arm issues is like rope climbs, pull-ups, muscle-ups, okay. things muscle like ups, that. Yeah. Um, lot, but I was, that's all I was doing for that training cycle. And I stayed healthy. Yeah. I mean, there was other things I was doing too, like Theragun, Baz, yep. Tiger Balm. But oh, yeah, there's you know, lots of variables in there. Yeah. But I added this to my regimen. Dude, one scoop of the, but also, what's funny, it's a good source of protein. Is it? Oddly, 15 grams Oh wow! in one scoop. And it's not a big scoop. It's like a quarter of your typical protein scoop size. Does it do anything for um, like cartilage? Um, do you know? I don't know about that specifically. I'm not um, trying to throw questions out. No, it's okay. So to. actually, so um, usually the when I ask Brian Teach about supplements, yeah. like, I just trust him. Yep. And that's good enough. But so actually I was reading about collagen last night on like medical review journals and things like right. that. Like, is it real? Is it bullshit? Right. And it's like the verdict is still out, but it's like, it seems to be actually have these benefits. And it's like, so if you want collagen, like, like healthier skin, things like that, blah, blah, blah. But there's, um, I, I, I don't care about that shit, right. but there's, there's like, um, actual benefits, like re uh, recovery, tendon health, things yep. like that. And it's a good source of protein. And that's what I take collagen for. And I know like it's a, people commonly ask me about i mean dudes dudes in their 40s are mm -hmm. like bro my fucking tendonitis yeah. is killing me it's like i mean my tendonitis over the years has been um it's it's held me back more than my leg like no shit like tendonitis <laughs> fucking sucks dude. yeah um and so i stay i try to stay you have to stay on top of it because if you get behind you're fucked so anyways i just like that's a this is a big one to collagen yeah and i guess we can read about cartilage um, I, I don't take things for cartilage cause there's like uh what is it? Like glucosamine yeah, joint. Yep. I don't, I don't do joint support formulas because maybe if you're like in, in my head, it works out like say your joints on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the worst. If you're at a three, mm -hmm. maybe a joint support formula can help you a little bit or something like that. But I, I think I'm at a 10 when you like in my knee, like when you get shot and I rely on my one leg so much, I don't think a fucking joint mobility over the counter or something is going to really do a lot of fucking. I don't think it's so much as, as a, uh, as like a, it's going to repair something so much as it's a prophylactic for further damage of like, cause you're now putting twice the amount of work on, yeah. on that joint. Mm -hmm. Cause you do everything on one leg. Yeah. So it, I know. But no, I've, just, I've never been into it. I, yeah. I, I like I, I've I've had uh, first form has joint mobility, but it's just like it's not something I care about. I don't think, <laughs> you know, like or like it's like, dude, as you like, I don't want to. So here's 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 maybe here's this is 
this is my take on it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to erase pain. I don't want to. Right. I want to learn to live with pain. As right. you get older, you're going to have bad joints. Things no matter happen. what the yep. fuck you take. And right. you can, you know, like some uh, people who use PEDS, there's things they take where they like inject it in their joints. And they're like, oh, this is oh, what they use on racehorses. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? In their joints? Yeah, dude. It's like, yeah. So <laughs> it's like there's 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 drugs that'll like really repair your shit, just like steroids, you yeah. know. Um, but it's like I, I, I've always wanted to, Instead of trying to avoid pain and discomfort, I've always kind of like welcomed the pain and discomfort. Like I don't want some things taken away from me because that keeps me tough. Yeah. It's, you know, it's also so that's, good. It's what you're reading to like you read pain sometimes to determine yeah. how well you did or if you're right. overtraining something or yeah. Like pain or, or for me, you know, useful. so like so like the tendonitis, that's like a legit debilitating thing yep. so i need to stay on top of that but like a little aches and pains when you wake up in the morning like sh- shut the fuck up just sh- shut the fuck up you know <laughs> and actually um let's talk the, again when you're when you're 40s all right i mean dude like there's the, 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 so, <laughs> I mean, so there's other things there's other things i do yep i've trained around it dude like okay you want to talk joint problems i got shot in the fucking knee yeah and i lived with that leg for four years all fuck right yeah. i've you know so um yeah, that one's things and I was just I was just chatting with a guy at the gym the other day cuz he like and it was weird he like asked me quietly. He's like, "Hey, what do you do for pain?" And I was like, "What why is this a fucking hush conversation? Right. Like what the fuck? Are like, you about to ask me like, for like, drugs like, or something?" I was, and I was thinking about I was like, "What do I do for pain?" And and I was like, "That's a I was like, I mean, the the one thing I do for pain that uh is um when I'm like four weeks out from a competition, yeah, I'll try to reduce like my training's really hard, and I'll try to reduce. So I t- I take Advil, okay. But outside of that, I, d- I don't take yep. Advil or I don't take any. I don't do anything, you know. I just like fucking grumble and yep. suck it up. That's what I do, you know. But um, but but I, um, but he was asking because he's like he's like oh my knee hurts, mm-hmm. and I was like okay how how are you training the muscles around that? He's like oh, I don't like ah see that's the fucking mistake man right. it's like you know like if if you want to take joint mobility cool but if you're not doing that'd be like taking collagen without getting enough protein if right. you're not strengthening the muscles around joints and so i you know i told him and I, or i was you know it was kind of a long conversation and we i actually talked him into switching up his his training regiment doing different kind of training it's like dude if you got like knee problems and no quad no, and like atrophy quad and atrophy yeah, calf yeah. like yeah like you're all that shit is on the joint like guess what mu- guess what muscles do support your fucking joints you want joint support build some fucking muscle yep you know <laughs> it's like and that's what that's what so even when my leg couldn't bend i would um do everything i could to strengthen the muscles around that knee yeah just because to get what I could out of them. So all the banging, like literally, you know how you have a gap in your knee? Oh yeah. I didn't have a gap. It was just, dude, it was so fucking painful. Oh. Yeah, it was disgusting. You, how long did it, it bent? How much? 30 and 10. So I had 30 degree flexion and 10 degree extension. Like nothing. So that's, yeah. So it's, yeah. It's basically it, like yeah. a fused leg. It's, it was basically, yeah. And it was, um, it wasn't fused, but it's just like the scar tissue. Right, right. My body. I'm like Wolverine, man. <laughs> Just fucking healed too fast. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. So, anyways, yeah, that's like I just been um, kind of, kind of anti that stuff, and um, but, 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 like, but, like, think about like I take my multivitamins, I, d- I drink my greens, my reds, I drink water, I exercise, I eat a good, healthy diet. Yeah, totally. that's what I do. For that's my, all the stuff. Yeah, for, yeah that's mm-hmm. that's how you manage pain. I wonder what yeah. he was asking for. Cause he, cause like is because his knee hurt. Like, do you it like? But like, what? Like, do you take meds or? or is right. Pain yeah. Yeah. Take, he's or? like. Yeah. Maybe like what? He got, obviously, he's like. He's like. This guy's got to have pain. What, right. do you, what are you doing that I'm not doing? Right. I'm like, well, <laughs> eating healthy, sucking it up. You know, waking like, up before. Yeah. Nine. Living living a healthy life. You're like, yeah. Like a little bit. Of, oh, your back hurts. Not wearing gym shirt. If, if you're ba- if you come to me and you and you complain that your back hurts, but you're 50 pounds overweight, yeah. I'd be like, well, you know. Start there. This isn't a fucking mystery. It's not a mystery. <laughs> you know, like, you're supporting a little bit know. of extra. Yeah, man. It's it's. I'm at the point. Um, people, people I see for like a year, 
at the gym every day for a year. They'll just randomly come up and try to ask me a question. I got one today. A dude, I, I've seen him. I've I've seen him around for like the last year and a half, and he and he knows who I am and things like that. And there's another hush question, and he comes up to me. And he's like, he's like, hey man, like, can you can you give me a diet so that I can have abs again? And I was just like, and I told him straight, I was like, man, I don't give people fucking. I, don't, I was like, I don't give people diets because I don't. I follow my own diet, you know. I was like, and I just looked at him. I was like, you know what? You tell me. What can you do better? What can you do better? You and and it his on him. face was like, I was like, you got, you know the fucking answers, motherfucker. Like, what can you do better? And then like, you can just see it in their eyes. They're 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 like replaying the cookie they had last night. They're <laughs> replaying the Taco Bell they had two days ago. They're replaying the McGriddle. Yeah, that dude, you can their just face see on the them way. go through it. They're like, like you fuck. catch them. It was like, you know what? What can you do better? Because like, I why like, don't like I don't need to, you know. There are things I can say to help and do, and that's what I try to do in my food philosophy. Right. But, like, I don't... And this was a grown-ass man. And, like, I was like, in other words, a grown-ass man came up to me and asked me to tell him what to eat every day and when. That's what I do to my kids. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, like, I tell look, my kids what to eat and when. I'm making bad choices, Derek. Mm -hmm. I need you to tell me mm -hmm. what to eat. I need you to stop making bad choices. <laughs> It's not fucking rocking science. We're just trying not to be fat. That's the most oracle answer you could have given him where you're just like, hmm. Yeah. What could you do better? Yeah. I was like, you tell me. What can you do better? Like, yeah. And it dude, it pretty much stopped the Spot conversation. On. That guy walked yeah. away. Saying, but but people God, can take wise. people can take that one of two ways. They'll be like, fuck that. Like, that was no help at all. Right. Or it can be like, that was the only thing I needed to hear. It's a coin toss. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm either, either going to help you, help you hey, or piss yeah, you off. I put my headphones back in and got on with my day, man. You know? It's like, I'll fucking, I only, you know, you want to you want to come to the water? Let's go. But um, I'm not going to make you drink, you know? So, you yeah. You like how it tastes. Man. Man, we, uh. Talked about like ten different things here, but it's, it's just kind of like ranted for now. Just shooting the shit. Yeah. yeah, we can do what we want. That's right. It's our um, show. Um, yeah, I was uh uh but I wanted to talk about the call. Like it's I don't talk about product because and products much and and um I need to get over that. It's just like the way the internet is. Every it's it's like I don't know. Well, one thing I do but like is, is that you used it for two months before yeah, you started before, talking yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. And I can't I can't honestly say like, oh, I f this isn't something where you like feel a difference, but it, it like maybe gives you a little bit. I, I would say one of the effects I've had is it gives me a little bit extra confidence knowing I'm actively taking care of my body going into these harder things. Like you you're know? using one more tool that's available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, and I don't know if this is something that I'll take every day forever. I still am. I put it in my smoothie. I just chuck it in my smoothie. So it's, um, um, and I guess I should look if it's something that I add to my daily just life regimen or right. if it's something I only do when you're training, when I'm training hard. Yeah. It, I mean, it's probably fine to take every day. <laughs> I'd probably just put it in every day. Yeah. I, can't I mean, that's what I seem to be doing. Yeah. You take amino acids every day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Collagen. I never would have fucking thought because I was a fucking hater. So, I mean, Stacy and I would be at the grocery store and we'd walk past collagen, and I bet Stacy was like, "Oh God!" Can go to your like, because I'd just be like, "Can you believe this fucking shit?" You know, <laughs> like it would make me mad, just as mad as when people sleep till eleven o'clock wearing gym sharks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, just, fuck, yeah, we gotta walk by the gym <laughs> shark section. That's how he was like. Gym how do you, how do you make Derek White to lose his shit? Be like. Tell him a story. It's like, so there was this girl who slept in gym part shark till 11 o'clock and she woke up to take collagen. She was running yeah. a little late for the council meeting. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about one-legged one lunges. Yeah. Man. Yep. So anyways, never never thought I would have seen the day, but collagen and... and um, I used to rock climb a lot. Dude, and so that training is hard. Yeah. It's hard. That shit is hard as fuck. Cause, and it's what's hard, especially like there's the lifting yourself and the muscle part of it that yeah. you eventually get better with, but training your, your wrist tendons to yeah. get stronger, to hold on to tiny mm -hmm. little things. Dude, your hand, I, I know oh, like fuck trying to, so like part of my like Ninja warrior training stuff, just hanging from like, I love that door. you can say that. What's that? Part of my Ninja warrior yeah. training. I can't, I can't use that. <laughs> you want to never trained. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, dude, you know, what's funny is, um, I jo you want to know how I got into American Ninja Warrior? I'll tell <laughs> you a little yeah, fucking funny story about 
communities and cults and annoying fucking people. Um, <laughs> you know, dude. So I, uh, I never fucking heard of this fucking thing before, but I joined a gym um, in Minnesota. It was called Allegiance Fitness. That's That was like that big gym that I trained at that had okay. everything. So it yep. had CrossFit. That's where I started CrossFit. It had bro shit. It had strong man in the back. And then it had like this Ninja Warrior. This big old it was, monkey it was just like, Yeah, so it was like gym. they had big ass ropes. They had a salmon ladder. Okay. That's the bar. Yep. That you go up the pegs. And they had the fucking, uh, the ramp. Yep. Whatever the shit. The you like know, half pipe peg, thing. Pegboard and the vert wall. The vert whatever, wall. Whatever yep. the fuck. So I was like, what the fuck? I was like, okay. And then they, um, they had flyers. Like, try out for American Ninja Warrior. I was like, what's American Ninja Warrior? And um, I'm basically a ninja. Like, no, I was just like, it on. I was like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, th- and I made an audition tape, and so like, dude, and so like the audition tapes. <laughs> do you still have that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. D- d- have you seen it? No. Oh my god, dude. Okay, well, we'll watch it after this. Okay. So like, the thing about the audition tapes for American Ninja Warriors, people are just they're just showing how fucking great they are. Right. They're like, look at, I can jump from this to this to this. I can swing from this, and so um. <laughs> I made an audition tape. It was just me and Jared Taylor. And I I said, like, I just made some jokes. Like, I was like, I've been practicing farmer's carries to fucking increase my grip. And then it kept, I'm just walking away carrying two cases of beer. And then I was like, I've been, I've been like practicing meditation to get my mind right. And I'm just passed out in Jared Taylor's <laughs> front yard with beer cans all around me. And my leg is over there. And, you know, Jared is trying to push me past my limits. So it's like, I'm pretending to be like blackout drunk. And he's making me take more shots. This is what we sent to fucking <laughs> to NBC, NBC or whoever it yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, so fuck. we made a total fucking mockery of it. But the smart thing about that is they see these, they fucking hate those audition tapes. Oh, yeah. Because they're just like, look at this fucking cunt. Look, look at this, this fucking cunt. Oh, Same you, thing. You know? Yeah. And so that, like, you want to get some attention? That's how you get attention. Be completely different. Yeah. And so they, yeah, they called back and stuff. And so I started training for it. I, d- I wanted to do well, you know. And uh, I get to the the place, the, the course, and these people love that shit. Oh, yeah. And they're trying to talk to me about... American Ninja Warrior seasons and who do I know? Who do I like? And I, I, I told some people, I was like, oh, I've never even seen the show. I literally have, I'd never seen the show. I was just, I just went to go do it, you know? And they looked at me like I was in church saying Jesus isn't real, you know? <laughs> They're like, you haven't seen? What? Yeah. And so it's like, I got, I got a spot. I, I was there. I did the course. And, and so you can either like audition and get a spot or yeah. you can show up the day of the event and just it's like a walk just, on. Yeah, a walk on. But that line, there's hundreds of people just hoping. Yep. And they're, they, they're out there for like 24 hours. And they're, so there's all these people who are just dying to be there. It's like Walmart the night before joked, Thanksgiving. I joked my way on. I joked my way through the interview. I did the course in silkies and a PT belt. <laughs> You know, you had a PT uh, belt. Yeah, I wore my PT belt, dude. Fucking just like safety fuck, first, yeah, man. man. Safety yeah. first. Yeah. So that was, but it's it's funny how uh, that culture they just loved it so much, you know. And they're kind of like, people are so clicky. That's with that anything, thing. though. Yeah, I mean, CrossFit's kind of the same way, and yeah, no, you that's know, true. People yeah. with certain diets are the same way, and mm-hmm. some of them are obviously worse than others. Like, yeah, that was a uh, that that. That happened with Tough Mudder, too. Yeah, Tough Mudder is another one. Because, like, we did Tough Mudders those first years, like 2010, 2011. Like, 2010, I think there was 5,000 people on the whole weekend. Like you people- know? And then by 2014, I went back to Colorado, and there's people walking around with all their headbands and yeah. their gear. And they're like, how many you done this year, dog? And I'm like, go fuck yourself, man. Like, we're here to, like, have some, like, like, we're here to have some fun with friends and, like, drink beers. But, like, as far as judging ourselves on success and fulfillment this ain't it you we're know? playing a different game yeah than you. yeah this is when you meet people like oh what do you do like i'm an ocr racer like <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> sounds fancy yeah <laughs> clicks <laughs> clicky mm. people like to connect with other people with mutual interests yeah mm-hmm. yep. and then dislike people who don't oh yeah that's yeah. where i draw mm-hmm. the line when you yeah. start shitting on other people yeah for- Right. Yeah. Wearing Jim Shark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, fuck Jim Shark. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. You know what? And I, I feel bad 
Because maybe the people who started Gymshark are cool people or something like that. It's I, a dude. It's a young dude. Really? Yeah. He's makes, like in his like 28 or something really? like that. Yeah. And he's just like. Motherfucking hustled. Like he came up. He, yeah. That's, he, so that's dude. It's exactly that culture. The fucking. You, it's funny you say that word. Hustle. Well, I use. I don't. Let me use a different word. He worked his ass off and took an idea and grew it into what yeah. it is today. He's like, man, who should we market to? He's like, man, it's it's hard to sell things to good people because good people are so few. There's a fuck ton of cunts out there. <laughs> How do we get these fucking cunts to buy our shit? <laughs> <laughs> This is probably yeah. exactly how the conversation went. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no hatred. None. No, oh, it's just it's just me. Yeah. I just actually happened to watch a video about him really? uh, maybe like a, two weeks ago. Yeah. Because he just crossed some milestone where he's like a billion-dollar company or, yeah. or something. Like with a B. I mean, they're doing great. Bill, it's everywhere. Billion. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a dude in England. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. Maybe I'll look into it, but I'm not. No, mm-mm, I mean, I you, won't know. You, you might look into it, yeah. decide you like the story. Mm-hmm. You might start wearing them one day, Derek. No, if if I do something, I will like. If I wear Gym Shark, oh. it'll be a shark costume in the gym. Love that's it. something. That's a skit. 2015, Derek would have done. You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, can you hear my kids screaming? I can't. They're there? freaking the fuck out. They're going through that <laughs> phase, man. Where if like a parent isn't around, that's right. Is that normal or are we bad parents? No, that's normal. Oh, great. How long yep. does it last? For a while, dude. Fuck. Like, it gets a little bit better in their threes, but it morphs into this, like, it morphs into this different thing. So I have two three-year-olds right now. Right. Yeah, for two they, weeks. For, 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 yeah, for so three weeks. So you have weeks. kids two, three, three, five? I've, well, right now they're three, three, five, and six. Oh, okay. And then the yeah. three-year-old will turn four, but. And then you're going to have three, four, five, six for a while? Yeah. Guess, yeah. Yep. I look yeah. forward to it all year when really? they're consecutive. Yeah. Because then I don't have to like stop and think and do math of how fucking old my kids are. Yeah. I just say three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. I got two screaming 20 month old twins. They <laughs> fucking get after it, dude. Anyways, um, man, that was, I, I think oh. I, I had stuff to talk about. You got one that you left out and then, and then we can call it. You need a slapper for the day. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. And I had that thing fired up, but we got, um, all right. I went down an old road. Uh, yeah, what was okay. The slapper for today is a song called "Paralyzed" by As I Lay Dying. Not okay. exactly like a secret band. As I Lay Dying has been huge for a long time. Right. I started listening to them when I was in the army, and it was that um shoot, what album was it? Uh, An Ocean Between Us. So that yeah, so that came out two thousand seven. There was an album before that actually that I. Yeah, so they got Shadows Are Security 2005. So they've been around for a long time. Yeah. And uh, um, I love I love a lot of their music. Two days ago, I went through, when I in one of my workouts, I went through the whole album, The Powerless Rise. Yep. I really love that fucking album. But seriously, I think their nastiest song is a song called Paralyzed. So that's the slapper. I mean, that shit just fucking comes out of the gate nice. swinging. And it's like, it's a secret... Um, <clears throat> It's one of those songs I don't break out often because I want to save it for when I really fucking need it or really want it, you know? So Paralyzed by As I Lay Dying is today's slapper. Good stuff. I actually enjoyed just shooting the shit for a while. Just kind of hanging out. Yeah, I guess. um, So this is episode 32. Yep. Um, Episode 33. Going to be it. It's going to be a good bye. It's yeah. going to be, well, a, good, a goodbye for you. So it's goodbye for me. Episode 33 is going to be our last episode. Yep. Um, I'm moving. Yep. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, I will be coming back, but yep. I'm going to take like a three to four month break while we do our move. Yep. You're moving to Texas. I'm moving to Missouri. Yep. We're parting ways. It'll yep. be your last show. Yep. I'm going to take like a three to four month break, and then Savage Saturdays will be back. Nice. But um yeah, next week's episode thirty three. It's gonna be the end of a of a half year era. Nice little run. Yeah. That was yeah. It, we didn't miss a fucking No. We didn't we uh, yeah, we didn't miss a fucking We we did it show. like we had yeah. jobs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh um we won't say anything nope. about that now. We can talk about that next week. Be a fun one. Um yeah. So that's it for this week. Um as always, thanks for listening. We love you. Catch you next week. <laughs>